Hello and welcome. This is going to be a bit different. It's not a tutorial, it's a demonstration of a blood prototype. Um, this is what I've made. Is you can see some blood that's flying really slowly, but when it does touch um, an area 2D, it will then paint that area 2D in, with its uh, sprite. This is the project that you'll have if you download it on GitHub. And what we're going to do is we've just got some flaws, typical area 2Ds with a sprite on. We've got a background, no 2D that's main, and this is really important. We've got a viewport container, and this is the variables of this viewport container. What I've done is gone to layout and made sure that it's full screen. Then I've attached a viewport to the viewport container, and this is quite vital that it matches up the size here to the sizes here. And another thing that's vital, or it will not work, is that the clear mode is on next frame. And the reason for this is when you draw something to a viewport, if the clear mode isn't clearing, this, the image will stay. So as your image moves across, it paints it multiple times. And that's pretty much what we're um, exploiting. So I can give you a quick demonstration how that works. If I was just to copy a blood sprite into here, I zoom in a bit, if I move the blood sprite around, you'll notice that it's painting rather than actually being moved. And say if I wanted to get rid of that, I would then allow always, and you'll see that now if I move this around. So you can kind of understand what's happening here. Now what makes this complicated is that you would imagine that I would be able to put a blood area 2D in here and connect with this area 2D, but however, the air, this area 2D is in outside this viewport, so I can't interact between this viewport. So it's two viewports, right? You've got the back viewport, which is everything what the objects are on, and then you've got the front viewport. I can't interact with those objects, so I have to make two blood objects, one that will follow another, and when, when the blood object in the world touches the area 2D, the object in the viewport then shows itself and when it shows itself it will paint itself. And that's the best as, as, as I can describe it. I'll go into the code now so you can see, uh, see what's going on, but before I do that it's really important. I go to viewport and I make sure that um, clear is always is back to next frame. I think it can be never a next frame, but I just use next frame for this one. I'll save this, I'll remove this blood port now you'll see it's still there it's not it's just not been updated so i can just close this down open it and then it's gone so let's go to the script and we're going to go on the blood now the blood is going to go into the main uh, node and this basically is just it throws it up and it comes down it's just movement code for the blood then the blood maker We've got the draw blood, we've got the normal blood, and we need to instigate both these objects at the same time at the same place. And what will happen is the draw blood will follow the normal blood. Now, you, now when the blood in the main connects with something, the draw blood will then show itself, and by showing itself, it will draw itself. I don't need these. This is just from a uh, quick test, and it says it's a prototype. We've got a random number generator here, and then we're going to delta. So if I press the left mouse click, you put that into your project settings input map. I'm just put it in here. Then I'm going to loop from zero to ten, which is eleven objects. I'm just going to then say make both the blood and the draw blood. Then add it to the right paths, so we can see the paths up here. We've got a path going to the viewport which is the one which will be drawn on and then we've got the normal viewport which is on the main and then make sure that the right blood is assigned to the right viewport and then randomize the variable so each one can go left right whatever which direction and then you'll notice right at the bottom we've got something called count the count will act as an id basically and the reason i've got that is if you go to draw blood we're going to use that the id We'll make sure that each blood will have its individual name and so this will make sure that hey let's get the same name as this id and we'll know there's a copy of the id in the main and then what we'll do is we'll make sure that this blood that's in the viewport is following the one that's in the main 
and then obviously if this if the one in the main is touching something show this blood else if it isn't touching something don't show it and by showing it it will paint itself and then once we get past 400 we delete the main blood and we delete the draw blood and that's it it's really complicated which is why i didn't want to do a proper tutorial it's just trying to explain how the prototype works i want someone to take this make it better you know i'm sure there's different ways i don't know how to draw alpha for example if you draw alpha it'll just draw on top of each other one two three four and before you know it, you've got no alpha channel so if someone knows how to avoid having strong colors like that let me know so let's play and let's just mess around and as you can see it's not too i don't think it's too slow like that's quite a lot of objects going around that's the end of this prototype slash tutorial-esque video um, if anyone wants to take this on let me know in the comments I'll, I'll give you a follow take care bye bye